Good morning once again YouTubers. Um, as I've said in a couple of other videos, radios are not my forte, but I do have some that have been kicking around here for some time and um, it's time to get rid of them. Uh, it's really not what I collect. I'm, I'm into 45 players as you can clearly see on my website. And um, so this one is going to be up for sale. This is a Guild Radio, model number 484. It's known as a Spice Chest. Um, this particular model has louvers, of course, on the front that move up and down. The doors, of course, open up to visualize the uh, interior. This is one of the harder models to find because this has the winter scene in it. Clearly, there's the spice chest. It has the volume control in the corner, bass treble control, but it's also your radio phono control because when we pull this out, you can plug in a phono attachment in the back and play that through this radio. Pushed in will be for the AM portion, and of course we have tuning on that side. It does have a couple of nice drawers to put your junk in, and uh, you'll be hard pressed to find a nicer example of this. Uh, this is the outside here in front. We're going to take a look at the top, the face. Let's turn it on over to one end. There is a, a very minor scratch here that blended in white, quite nicely with the rest of the case. In the back, clearly there's the UL label pointing down to a funnel input right here. And you've got the basic tag down the bottom that tells you, yes, this is a, a spice chest radio, model number 484, takes 30 watts, and your, your layout for tubes. This particular model was built in March of 1951, excuse me, 1961. So it's a later tube model. There, of course, is the other side. And uh, we're just going to give you um, a brief interior look and show you how things work. Now, this had, uh, like I said, tubes and old caps in them, but they weren't the old wax caps that leak all over the place. So I chose to leave those in there. The only thing I did change in there was the filter caps. Uh, that still was one of the old-fashioned uh, wax type cans or canisters. Uh, so I disconnected that. I've, that's, that's been pulled out and bypassed with a couple of new uh, current state-of-the-art capacitors. So it works beautifully just as it should. So we're going to turn the volume up and understand now that this is well into daytime. It's past 1030. So radio stations are far and few between here. You don't, you don't get a lot during the daytime. So we'll turn this up. We'll do our tuning. Mortgage. Well, the rates are great, but I can't, I can't get a mortgage. How's that health care? Well, health care is great, but I can't get in to see a doctor. And we'll try the base trouble. Uh, here, do I have time? I do. Uh, this is um, Reince. Reince, I was told. Reince. Um, talking about uh, Barack Obama as the outsourcer in chief. This link was sent to me this morning by one of my listeners. And I Based upon facts of all. Creation moments exist. Teach the truth of divine creation and a global. People think there's something wrong with being successful in America, then they better vote for the other guy. Well, anyhow, you get the uh, gist of things here. Uh, this is going to be sold for $100. That's uh, going to be firm. That uh, does not include shipping. Shipping will be extra. And uh, you can either buy it here from me, uh, right directly off, off this uh, YouTube video, or sometime later tonight or tomorrow morning, one or the other. I'm going to have this up on eBay if I don't get any response. And again, you're going to find it there for $100 as a buy it now. Uh, postage is going to be extra. Um, as I said, it's in perfect shape, operates beautifully, and uh, will make somebody a very happy radio. Uh, this is great for a um, colonial type interior decorator, but as a user as well. I just have enough crap around here that I, I've got to get rid of some stuff now. I'm running out of room, and uh, my real forte is the 45 players, not radios. So I have, uh, I don't know, two or three radios anyhow I'm going to get rid of that have already been gone through, and this happens to be one of them. So if you have an interest, you can either write me via the, um, the um, little information center. You know, you can log in and get me through there through the YouTube. Or you can look for this under uh, eBay listing. My name is Seaburg's Rock. 
just like the jukebox, Seaberg's Rock with an exclamation point and uh, you'll see it up for sale there. You'll see the video as well as a few more pictures of the interior, the chassis and so forth. So there you have it, another nice uh, piece again from 1961 this time, built in March of 1961. Have a great day now.